doing a little traveling. I just went into this uh, army surplus store in the middle of Missouri. I just thought I'd show you what I got. I'm doing, like I said, I'm traveling. I got this new boonie hat, about $15, $16. I also got a lightweight shemog. I think I figured I could use this for camping. Use this for camping and as a pillow, you know, like a towel, a camp towel and all. Of course, I am going camping. I've got my radio gear back there. Um, I've got all kinds. I've got a fishing pole. i got all kinds of stuff. And I am traveling right now from St. Louis to Oklahoma. I'm doing something really weird. I was going to do to make a contact in a rest area. Might not be the best idea in the world. Um, this probably looks really weird and suspicious. But I'm gonna give it a try. My car is over there. There's trucks here, you know. I'm wearing shorts and stuff because I've been traveling. This is very impromptu and weird. But maybe I can do this. Gotta be fast though. I feel really weird doing this. But I just sailed this straight up. There's a bird messing with my cordage up there. So I sailed this straight up probably 40 feet, 45 feet. And it's just sitting right there, so I'm going to pull up my antenna. Hope I don't attract any attention. <laughs> did this was I connected my pack antenna to my bungee in a rest area. Um, I've got the 41 foot pack antenna wire going this way and it, it comes with a little clip on the end so I just clipped it to my bean bag. This is going to be pretty heavy though. So to secure that, oh, mosquitoes on me. I'm gonna get get going. I just got bit. All right. going straight up there. Let's get going. All right. I'm set up. See that? Mosquito. Fuckers. Ugh. I'm gonna have to hurry. Too fast, too fast. 14030. Tune.
See what's cool about this? Is I've got the two wires going up and nobody, there's no other wire there because I raised it on the bag end. So nobody can uh, run into the wire because they're both up there. They're both right here, see? Just hope I can get it down. I didn't have anything to tie it off to, so I have to step on the wire to hold the tension. Got it. Joe. K W one K. Awesome. I just need to keep it short because I'm literally standing on my antenna. He's saying received, received, fine business, Tom, rig, antenna, vertical, vertical. I'm going to send one more message back and end it. KW one K Okay, that was awesome. I made a contact right away. I need to write down fourteen O three three. Okay, so I kept that short. I gave, I just said I was sitting at a park bench and I might get in trouble, so I had to go. Um, I say that because I don't know a, a policeman come by and wonder why I have a wire in the tree. Look at this. I didn't have a place to tie it off, so if I let go of this, watch what happens. My antenna falls. Do you see that bird? That, per that bird tried to chase my bean bag. Oh, this is so cool. Anyway, um, this kind of proves that you can set up just about anywhere. And that, and that throw bag, I mean, you can get it up high. Like, I was almost vertical, and I made a contact just like that. Um, he was, I'm in the middle of Missouri at a rest area, exit, I'm at exit 111. He is in 
Fudge. I forgot where he said. Um, his name is Joe. He's in Florida. Hey, K9ARV, you're in Florida too. I could talk to you pretty easily from here. Anyway, I'm putting all this stuff up and getting back on the road. I didn't think it would go that fast, but it did. Anna is pretty awesome. I mean, setting it up is so easy. It's lightweight. Um, the only thing I don't like is un is winding it up. It's so little, you have to wind it forever. Now that the bag is off of that line, it should slide right through just like nothing. I've learned how to fold this. You take these two sides, put them over that way, and then when you do this, I screwed it up. No, these two sides go that way, then that, then this will latch to that. This throw bag is freaking awesome, man. Everything packed up in my little bag. All right, I always do a walk around because it's so easy to leave something. Got my keys. Um, didn't leave any cordage or bags or radios. Okay, man, that was freaking awesome. I'm so happy. I did not think I would make a contact. I figured I would sit there and call C CQ, CQ. Well, this guy was calling CQ and I answered it in Florida, 10 watts, I got a 579 report. I'm getting lots of 579s, 559s, five five hardly ever. I have never got like a 599 that I can remember. Um, but I hear him, him perfectly, so I gave him a 599. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little weird doing this here, throwing crap in a tree, you know, with so many people around. But once it's up in the tree, you can't see it. You can't see the antenna. So, I mean, 20, I mean, it took me nothing. I didn't want to waste a lot of time because I got to get back on the highway. I got another two hours of driving. I didn't want to waste a lot of time uh, doing this. So I wasn't going to call CQ forever. I was just going to, I'm real happy to get a contact there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it's so easy. When you know C CW, if there's any bands at all, I mean, it's so easy to make CW contacts way easier than sideband. It's kind of cool they have a playground here. It'd be good for our kids when we have to stop. I am on Highway 44 in Missouri heading west on exit 111.